Hi, I'm Ian Cole, bringing you an IEQA tech tip on endocrine disruptors. Your endocrine system has been in the press lately. What is your endocrine system? Well, it's a collection of glands that release hormones, which in turn orchestrate and regulate key functions in your body. There are chemicals that can disrupt the endocrine system, which may affect your body, including your reproductive system, nervous system, and immune system. These endocrine disruptors are also known to cause developmental problems, so they are especially concerning during the prenatal development of babies. According to the National Institutes of Health, endocrine disruptors may be found in many everyday products, including plastic bottles, metal food cans, detergents, flame retardants, food, toys, cosmetics, and pesticides. Many endocrine disruptors are SVOCs, semi-volatile organic compounds. That means they can be found in the original product, in the air around that product, and then from the air condensed onto indoor surfaces, most notably seen in house dust. There's still much to learn about endocrine disruptors. Of particular interest are the low dose effects. Endocrine disruptors can have effects at low doses that are not seen at higher doses. And that's the opposite of how it works with most other indoor environmental contaminants. In the future, I anticipate indoor environmental assessments, including dust samples that get analyzed for a panel of common endocrine disruptors, which then gets compared to some established exposure guideline. But until that time, we just need to encourage more research and a better understanding of endocrine disruptors. To stay current in the field of indoor environmental quality, consider becoming a member of the Indoor Air Quality Association. It's a membership organization where people of all disciplines come together to discuss the indoor environment. Visit the IAQA website for more information.